back to the season finale of March Face Up Madness. I am coming to you from the shop because we're still working and I got a I got a networking event that we're hosting here. So you get a little bit of a different background today. All the art in back of me, by the way, is Benny's. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Again, short and sweet this week. We have our grand finale and wanted to go out with a bang, something pretty cool. And I was lucky enough to have received a resin head that was the Chi pear sculpt that Danny was kind of working on when he was deciding whether or not he wanted to do anime pear. And Barb with Enchantarium was super generous and printed it for me and sent it amongst with shoes and some other goodies a few months ago and so i had planned to use this head for the finale because i haven't had a chance to work on on pair and i know anime is still kind of an up in the air he did preview a girly that had like meow mouth i'll insert her photo here which looks really cute for this specific video I thought it would be great to instead of two sketches to do four and part of why I did more than two sketches was because I was really not feeling the first two sketches so I did a round one and a round two. So round one A and B, I was rooting for B, y'all picked A, <laughs> and then round two which seems to be the common theme. Everything I wanted or wanted to have created wasn't picked which is fine because these are all my sketches so it's like not not an insult to me by any means i just thought it was really funny so when people were voting for the ones i was excited for i would like send a cheer message so then for the second round of sketches for a and b it was neck and neck the whole time whereas the first round it was very very much but a was in the lead b was pretty far behind but the second round, it was just, I wanted to not be biased. It was 50-50 for probably an hour. And I could have just selected the sketch that I wanted to do, which of the second set of sketches, A was my choice. That was the one that I liked the best. I hope to be able to do it when I have another pair head in the future. So I sent it over to Danny Chu. I was like, Danny, will you be my tiebreaker? So Danny chose B. And then when I brought A and B, just funny because it was it's it made it really easy, so I didn't have to flip flop or like reverse any of the, the sides of the faces that I was sketching. So it was A from round one, not confusing at all, and B from round two were the final contenders, and y'all chose B, which in the end made me really happy because if I were gonna pick between those, that was my choice. So in the end, in the very, very end, the final episode, I got to do something I was really, really excited about. Now, given that this was resin, the color match wasn't exact. Enchantarium has documented well in their resin heads that they print how to paint to color match more closely to the cinnamon tea uh, skin tones. And not that I'm against paint, I just really have found that the soft pastels work really really well for me and so i will go ahead and insert a photo of the color that i used it was like a peach color uh, pan pastel has a set that closely matches a lot of different skin tones which makes it just easier i've been able to mix and get those colors using just like the normal standard colored set but it takes a long time and a lot of swatching and this was super fast i literally had the color ready to go and i think i did four coats of it and while it's not a hundred percent perfect it's pretty dang close and if you're wondering why this the coloring doesn't match when you see it on the body it's because i don't have a cinnamon body uh in pear i just have tea so that's why there's a significant difference because it's cinnamon on a yeah so that was the only like I guess new challenge for it. I've drawn on resin before. It's not terribly different than what I'm used to and Barb printed it super well. I think there was one little line on the side but it's going to be covered by a wig anyway so I didn't buff it out. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the time lapse of 
the face up process and then we'll talk about it after. So out of all of the four ladies that I worked on for this March Face Up Madness project, I had one that I was most excited to do and I had my least excited to do. And what I found was the one I was least excited to do, which was week three, turned out to be my favorite and also the most popular. <laughs> the one I was most excited to do was this week's because it was working on a new sculpt, just pair. I had not had the opportunity to do that yet. And while I really love how she came out, I think I stayed really true to the original concept art. It's just, there's a lot of anxiety and stress that goes into doing something that's more new and hasn't been, like there's a lot of pair face-ups, but it's all in the semi-real and doing anime. Just feels like there's more pressure there to, to have her look good, especially since um, I'm rooting for some more anime faces, specifically for pair, and I know it's hard to do. And she is also not my favorite sculpt to work with um, from the get-go. I've done a little bit with Chi, but I find sometimes it's a little bit limiting as to what can be done. So, you know, based on that sculpt, I'm good with it. That brings me to the giveaway that we're doing for this. So here are the rules for the giveaway. Make sure you go to Instagram to participate because it is going to be Instagram only. I'm not going to post it on Facebook. So if you are on Instagram, that is where you can go ahead and enter. I'll be posting a picture of this image, which shows all the four ladies that I worked on and you'll go to that post and the instructions will be to one, like the post, two, tag a friend, somebody you think might be interested in participating, three, tell me who is your favorite, and that's it, just three things. So I will announce the winner next Friday, March 29th, and the winner will get to select one of the four heads that they would like, and any of the ones that are not selected will be available for adoption. So if you are interested in purchasing, please reach out to me to talk about it. Thank you all so much for your support throughout March Face Up Madness, for your kind words. 
I am not open for commissions yet. I don't think I'll be opening commissions until after BJDC, just for my own sanity, but uh, I will be sure to keep you updated uh, when I am ready to do so. I love you all so much. Let me know what you think, and I will see y'all next week. Peace out, greetings, bros. Bye-bye.